Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about one of my latest gear choices, which is Liwit microphones. One of the things I don't like to do is to get too technical when the gear gets out of my realm of knowledge. So today I will explain what I love about these microphones that made me decide to use them for my set. In my personal experience, not as a sound engineer, but as a drummer, I rarely found a microphone that I would position on my snare drum and would sound great right away. There was always a lot of time spent in positioning, tuning, blocking excessive frequencies, equalizing, etc. Or just compressing the snare a lot, which is something practical, but that I don't like to do. When I tried the MTP440DM, what I liked was that even though I keep my snare tuned with a pretty high pitch, the sound from the mic was open but also controlled, which is what I really like and always look for in a snare mic. I also use the same mic on the snare that I play with my pedal using a wood Vic Fear beater to simulate more the stick it on the snare. And here the sound is even warmer as the strokes are not rim shots and it's a bit easier to control the sound of it. As far as the rack toms, the first thing I liked was the fact that you can clip the mics on the toms if you'd want to, and you still have a lot of options to position and direct the DTP340TT with the Liwit Clip system, which I find very useful so that I don't have to have so many stands in front of the drums, but at the same time the mics are not in the way while I play, even on the 8 inches tom. Also here, the sound is amazingly controlled. I don't even use moon gel on my toms and the sound has a great attack and a controlled tail of the frequency. When it comes to the floor tom, I like the sound to be huge, filled with low frequencies and with a nice volume, which is what the LCT240 Pro does exactly. The low frequency expands nicely and doesn't bother in the mix even if I hit the floor tom hard and this is probably my second favorite mic in the Liwit set that I have. The first favorite mic is actually the DTP340 REX that I have used on both 22 and 20 inches bass drums. As with the snare drum, it's always been hard for me to find the right microphone for the kicks. The sound that I've always looked for is a nice hit filled with low frequencies to really make the bass drum resonate in my playing. And usually I either find one or the other in the mics that I used. But with these ones I really found the perfect sound for my kicks as they give a nice hit for each stroke but it also have a lot of controlled low frequencies. The last thing would be the cymbals, another very difficult mic to find that keeps the brilliancy of the cymbals but at the same time cuts those annoying excessive high frequencies that get so much in the way of the mix. And the LCT040 match pair does exactly that for me. So I couldn't be more happy to have my set entirely mic with Liwit microphones. Plus these are pretty short overheads which make it easy to use them for small spaces like to make the hi-hat or right cymbal. So 
as I was telling you, I don't get very technical when it comes to microphones. It's not my expertise and I don't want to go and study hours of sound engineering stuff before knowing which mics should I get. I just want to put the microphones on my kit without them being in my way. I want to have a nice balanced sound without having annoying high frequencies going everywhere or low frequencies distorting my in-ear and my recording. And that's what I found with these Liquid mics a very nice balance and powerful sound. I use these mics to record all my videos, to play live shows, and to record my albums and studio work. So if you're looking for something easy to use that gives a great and professional result, I suggest the mics that I showed in this video. I hope this was helpful, and if you enjoy my videos, let the algorithm know by putting a like, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel for more stuff. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.